That says it all, doesn't it, really? A jack, bit of wood on the bottom of the sump. So guys, here we go then. As promised, the Volvo 240 engine mount video. Now, I had a really special box turn up from a subscriber. I've actually bought some parts from him and he's been very, very kind to actually throw in some tools as well. I didn't ask for them, but I think sometimes maybe I annoy him a little bit by not using the right tools for the job on these cars. I bought the engine mounts off him for this video, but then as I say, he very kindly sent me over yeah he sent me over these tools uh so yeah guys here we go we're gonna crack on So got the car on axle stands. That one doesn't look very straight, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, I've got the tires, I've got the wheels under the car, the frame rails and the outriggers. So, you know, even if the axle stands fail, which they probably will by the looks of them, uh, the car won't come down completely anyway. It's gonna sit on its wheels. So I'd rather destroy a set of tires than destroy my head. So. Yeah, and then guys, as you can see, also really not very straight at all. We've got a jack, bit of wood on the bottom of the sump. Because um, the design of it, you know, it's quite a round sump. So it's not that easy to lift from it. You know, I'm just on the sump plug. It's obviously that nut we've got to remove there. So I'm going to start with this side. So I'm going to have to remove this bracket here as well. So these are probably 12s, are they? Yeah. So take that one out. Right, that's that one out. All I need to do now, with difficulty, I'm sure, is undo that nut. I've got no vice to put the thing in, so I'm gonna to have to wedge it against something, probably my boot as usual, and uh, maybe inside this grill, slot it in, hold it, and then, uh, yeah, remove this nut, hopefully. Yeah, it's not. Mm, I probably sh maybe should have cracked that off whilst it was still on the car, could I have done that? Maybe, or maybe I wouldn't have been able to get the ratchet in there. Yeah, we'll just have to get creative somehow. There we go, so. Looks like there's a danger of it actually being seized to the the bracket slightly I can see that I can see that happening definitely so I think I have to hit it with a hammer to get it off there we go yeah I mean it looks okay I mean really it's not it's got Volvo on it so one thing I will do as well is I'm just going to clean up I'm going to clean the rust off this bit of anti-seize on it as well just you know like I say probably not necessary but Yeah, you can see a bit of rust and a bit of fuzz from corrosion and things like that. So I'm going to do the same thing, clean that up. And I'm actually going to spray some fluid film on it just to keep that corrosion off and protect it. 
This is the hard part. This is the part that makes you realise how soft and floppy the old mount was and how bent out at an angle it was because there we go you can see how differently now everything's sitting because obviously the last thing I want to do is cross thread anything Bloody pain that is. I suppose if the engine sat weirdly on the other mount and on the transmission mount as well, it's leaning over too much away, isn't it? The engine squashed too much on the other side. It's amazing how far away that seems. Mm. It's tricky. It's tricky. So that could be tricky. It's going to be tricky. Yeah, so I'm going to get rid of this bracket that holds, that connects to the, from the manifold to the exhaust. Ah, start again. So I'm going to remove this bracket that goes from the inlet manifold to the engine mount. stuff attached to it so I won't remove it completely but I just want to sort of get it out of the way a bit it's like the engine slumped too much that way because obviously it's squashed on that mount I need to lift it over this way really it's gonna be tricky mm. yeah this is this is where it gets a bit tricky this is where I really want a support for the engine you hook the engine on and then you support the engine and do it that way so you got the two bolts on the front of the mount at the front of the car and then you got the one the smaller one at the back I can get the back one in and I'm using it to sort of pull the mount into position you've got to be careful obviously not to cross thread because you know then there'll be some tears but as long as it goes in without resistance or minimal resistance it doesn't go really tight really soon because basically now it's helping because I can get that one started the other two are still far away but it's going to help pull it all together luckily so this bolt here do that to pull everything together but of course, we don't want it tight. Yeah, now that one's taken. Now this one. Ah, oh, you beauty. I think it's another one of those times where I got lucky. Then it's just the, the nut on the bottom. Tighten that up. And that's one side done. So yeah, I mean it's even worse sort of angle visibility for you on this side. But we'll do our best. With an extension and a universal joint, you can get on this top one. You can get on there with a I can't do it one-handed but you get the idea and then yeah that will come off not sure about this bottom one though so yeah for this lower one I actually had to raise the engine up quite a lot pretty much as high as it will go just so I could get the spanner in there between the anti-roll bar I'm sure there's probably a better tool for it I can't get a socket on that thing because the mounts too close so yeah probably a swan neck spanner would have been better with maybe a longer reach or even a shorter one um, but yeah, I've, I've been able to luckily crack it off and there's not much clearance there, but there's enough. 
Yeah, this side's trickier, that's for sure. That says it all, doesn't it, really? You can see Volvo on there. But yeah, it's like... Way off. Obviously compared to the new one that's dead straight. So the order of things again, it was the same as before guys, I put the back bolt in first, the one behind the mount at the back, towards the back of the engine, and then the two at the front, those two, um, yeah, and it all went in quite nicely actually, so yeah, pretty, pretty relieved actually. Yeah guys, apologies if you couldn't see as much as you'd have liked to of me doing this. I normally try and bring the camera in as much as possible and have it close up and I like to show the nuts and bolts but with this job, no chance of it really. I think our transmission might probably needs doing as well, doesn't it? Yeah, there's definitely some movement there as well. I think the transmission mount is quite tired. Definitely. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was useful to someone. And uh, yeah, as always, you can click into the playlist here to see everything that we've done on Lily since we bought her and the whole journey. It's been about one year now since we since we bought her. So yeah, it's been a great year. So anyway, I'll see you in the next one.